हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर जिज्ञासा सिन्हा कंसल्टेंट पीडियाट्रिक न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट एट नारायणा हॉस्पिटल आर एन टेगोर हॉस्पिटल मुकुंदपुर कोलकाता आई विल बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट एपिलेप्सी इन चिल्ड्रन बट बिफोर दैट वन शुड नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ सीजर एंड एपिलेप्सी any abnormal electrical activity in the brain can lead to a seizure fit or convulsion they are all the same uh, name but different terminology then what is the difference between seizure and epilepsy a seizure can be happening to any person because of uh, many other acute causes acute causes mean if there is any electrolyte imbalance like low calcium low sodium low magnesium or high calcium high sodium high magnesium etc or any acute brain infections like meningitis encephalitis however if we treat the cause and still the seizures are repetitively happening then it may lead to something called as epilepsy epilepsy is quite common in children about 5 to 7 cases per 100000 uh, are seen every year that means about 1% of the child's population is affected every year with epilepsy the causes are largely unknown however they can be because of any structural malformation in the brain or genetic causes and there could be certain other metabolic reasons also what are the symptoms of epilepsy epilepsy mainly can present from having a very mild or brief blank out episode also known as absence episode to having a full blown stiffening of the body and jerking of the whole body along with passing of urine or stool without knowledge we diagnose epilepsy with the help of clinical history and along with that an electroencephalogram or eeg can be greatly helpful however having a normal eeg does not mean that the child is not having epilepsy also in addition to this a scan or a brain imaging may be helpful in the form of mri brain or a ct scan certain other blood investigations may also be needed epilepsy can be treated with anti epileptic medications and if taken in a proper course depending on the type of epilepsy and the age of presentation it can be largely cured certain complex epilepsies which do not respond to medications very well are called drug resistant epilepsies and in such cases surgical intervention may be needed in the form of vagus nerve stimulator devices or having a resective surgery of the brain remember if you identify the symptoms early and reach out for help then your child may not land up into any behavioral cognitive or learning problems but if left untreated then these may happen so act early intervene early thank you very much